why you should pick management consulting over investment banking. Two of the most prestigious career choices for business students. Two of the highest paying jobs. Two lands of the smartest people. Two places to forget about work-life balance. Two career tracks that deeply transform you both personally and professionally. Now, landing a job in either one of those two is already a dream for many, but if you're somewhat like me, you don't want to let destiny control your future and you're really keen on finding the best career for you, even if they're super close. So this video will be interesting for you. there, this is Kim Tran, a former McKinsey consultant. Yes, I am. To be frank, I'm not pretending to be objective here, simply because I can't. From the bottom of my heart, I love management consulting. So even though I'll try to be as fact-based as possible, this video will be somewhat biased. But heck, who cares? I'm sure investment banking people will do the same as well. So here we are, the comparison of management consulting and investment banking from the viewpoint of a management consultant. Number one, who has longer hours? Of course, investment bankers. There are several sub-branches of investment banking which have hours that vary, but generally management consulting has much more friendly hours. On average, investment bankers clock in 80 to 100 hours per week. That means 14 to 16 hours per day and you often have to work on Saturday or Sunday. Don't even think about work-life balance. There's absolutely no life. Management consultants clock in around 60 to 80 hours per week, depending on specific projects and situations. We rarely have to work on weekends unless it's a really demanding project. The only minor downside of management consulting in terms of hours is the traveling. Most consultants have to work away from their base city up to 50% of the time throughout their career. You might think that's exciting at first, but after a couple of months flying in and out every week and burning your weekday mostly in clients' offices, you might think those bankers are the lucky dudes. Number two, who spends more brain power per hour of work? Consultants. I'm not saying bankers are not as smart or anything of that matter, but usually consultants have to push their mind more, especially when structuring the analysis or dealing with clients. Whereas bankers spend so much time on Excel modeling to the extent that it becomes a routine without having to think much. I'm sure most people who have worked on both sides would agree with me on this one. Number three, who makes more money? Investment bankers. Average base salaries might be the same, but bankers usually have generous bonuses, 50% or more sometimes, even double their annual income. While consultants might make up by having more benefits like travel allowances and health packages, bankers in general make more money, especially as their seniority increases. But with their relatively much longer working hours, the income per hour of work of a banker is not that high, considerably lower than consultants in fact. They just make more money because they work more. Number four, who earns more? Both learn equally a lot, but I much prefer the type of learning that comes from management consulting. Being a banker helps you become a master on the financial numbers aspect, but one big part of investment banking is exposure to business leaders and seeing how big merger and acquisition deals get done, but you don't get to interact with them directly unless you're a senior. A consulting career gives you a more balanced skill set. Besides hard skills like making great presentations, Excel modeling, and analytical thinking, you also have opportunities to interact frequently with CEOs and senior executives. This view is very top-down and your work touches all functions and aspects of a business profoundly. That's why no companies have created more Fortune 500 CEOs than McKinsey, a leading management consulting firm. Check out these two other videos on what consultants do on their job and what I myself learned during my time with McKinsey. Number five, who has better exit options? Management consulting. Alumni of McKinsey, Bain, or BCG have much more flexibility and options, whether that's finance, a multinational company, high-level positions at clients, corporations, or startups. 
We have alumni go forth onto a wide variety of interesting things. Being an alumni myself, each meeting with my former colleagues every year is so interesting. It's fascinating how ex-consultants continue to grow and do amazing things in various fields. For investment banking alumni, you might still be successful and make more money after a few years, but likely only within the finance world. So from our biased viewpoint, unless you really want to trade your youth and health making some quick money to repay your student loans, management consulting will give you a better work-life balance, a more well-rounded skill set, and diversified exit options. Still not sure if it fits you? See this video on what a consultant does every day. At MCP, we believe consulting is one of the best ways to jumpstart your career and everybody can make it to consulting.